Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2020 BMW X1, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So I wanted to check out the X1 today because actually there have been plenty of changes for the 2020 model year. But not only that, this is the most inexpensive way into a BMW SUV. So I do believe it's going to be appealing to a lot of people, including myself, of course. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so the way I'm going to break pricing down, there are two different configurations you can start with. There is the S Drive 28i starting at $35,200. Then there is the X Drive 28i starting at $37,200. So we do have the X Drive today, in case anybody was curious. But powering this little beast is going to be a two liter twin powered turbocharged inline four-cylinder putting out 228 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 258 pound-feet of torque available at around 1450 rpm power set to front wheels being the s drive or all wheels being the x drive through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters if you go with the m sport package which of course we do have today so that's a wonderful thing i'll tell you more about that later zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.3 seconds for comparison's sake if you were looking at this versus the Mercedes-Benz GLA, GLA actually does in 6.9. So X1 definitely has the advantage when it comes to 0 to 60. MPG numbers come in at 24 city, 33 highway for the front wheel drive. When it comes to the all wheel drive, 23 in the city, 31 on the highway. So before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test in the X1, I do want to mention there are some drive modes, of course, for the X1. And that button is located just to the left of the shifter there. And so essentially what they will do is adjust things like the shift points, the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so having said that what do you say let's put it in sport and it did immediately downshift for me so it does hold the rpms in a much higher level giving you more power on demand holy moly i can tell you that right off the bat but these seats are so incredibly comfortable because of mostly the power side bolsters and i'll get more into that later once again when we get to the interior but i love these seats definitely holding me in place very well but so anyways having said all of that to actually put it in full manual shift mode if you wanted to do that slide the shifter all the way to the back to the left that is going to tell me what gear i'm in in the tachometer in that portion of the gauges there and having said that let's do a quick little power shifter test and let's see how quickly they're going to react for us here in our 2020 bmw x1 all right first gear wow yeah, I always, I, I don't know why, I always sound kind of surprised, but I really shouldn't be. But when it comes to SUVs, the majority of them, if they have paddle shifters, they don't react quickly. But in a BMW, any BMW, including the X5 I just recently drove, they're insanely quick. I absolutely love that about BMW. Their paddle shifters are instantaneous. So if you wanted to have a little extra fun on the back roads or something like that, you got that option with this one. So. Having said that, to take it out of that manual paddle shift mode, just slide the shifter back to the right. We got control back to the X1 here, and let's do a quick little acceleration. Let's see how quickly we can get the new X1 here up to speed. Here we go. <laughs> oh, all right, let me tell you guys, slight, ever so slight bit of turbo lag at the beginning, but once it kicks in, it definitely gets you up to speed and insanely quick right after that, but there is a slight bit of turbo lag, even in sport mode, I will say that. Having said that, well more than enough power for the X1, not gonna have any issues merging onto the highway or anything like that, but to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important, and so you will find four-wheel ventilated disc brakes. As far as the 60 to zero stopping distance goes for the X1, that comes in at 122 feet, according to Motor Trend. The GLA 250, if you were comparing them, comes in at 120 feet. It's really right on par for the course, really not much of a difference there so as far as the braking feel goes it's been perfectly fine there's no brake pedal delay it's not squishy or anything like that certainly a nice braking feel to this one the touching on suspension and handling up front you will find an independent strut type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars gas pressurized shock absorbers as far as the steering feel goes especially in sport mode it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go one of the first things i noticed 
absolutely love the steering feel on this thing. Not the heaviest I've ever felt, not as heavy as my Mustang, of course, but definitely a very nice weight, especially for it being an SUV. Ride quality is definitely on point, certainly as expected for the BMW X1. It is a BMW, so really you can always expect decent ride quality when it comes to that. It's not gonna be as soft or as plush as the X5, I guess you could say, but it's more of a compact SUV, so it is as expected. As far as cabin noise goes, we'll say you can get a, a little bit louder at highway speeds, but again, it's pretty much as expected for the size of the SUV that it is. Really, any smaller SUV, you're gonna get a little bit of wind noise, but really, it's not gonna bother you or anything like that. I'm just saying it because I just got done test driving the X5, which was ridiculously quiet, so. Anyways, touching of visibility, I can see pretty good out the back. No issues there for me. Rain sensing windshield wipers actually also come standard on the X1, meaning when the SUV starts to detect any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers. One less thing you gotta worry about, it's kind of like automatic headlights, basically. Did wanna also mention with the premium package that we have today, there is a head-up display that is available. Right now, I'm looking at it even through my sunglasses. Sometimes it's hard to see that way. It's telling me the speed I am currently going as well as the speed limit of this current road I am on. So that's definitely going to help better keep your eyes on the road, less likely to get into an accident. So that's a big old plus as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful blue 2020 BMW X1. All right, so here she is, you guys, the 2020 BMW X1 finished in Masano Blue Metallic. In case anybody was curious, this is a $550 paint option. If you wanted to go that route, I personally absolutely love it, and it goes with the BMW logo very well. So let's go ahead and start up front on the X1. There actually is revised styling for the 2020 X1, larger active kidney front grille included, slightly different headlight housings as well. And by the way, when it comes to those headlights, halogen headlights actually come standard on the X1. They come with the automatic feature, of course, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights comes with that. M Sport package, okay? So that is what you are currently looking at right now. This M Sport package goes for $4,650, gives you greater aerodynamic styling, including a revised front bumper, side skirts, and rear bumper. Also gives you the eight speed sport automatic with paddle shifters included, like I said earlier. Shadow line exterior trim is included with that M specific 18 inch alloy wheels, high gloss roof rails. And I'll show you more of that as we go on here. But I did want to mention that because we do indeed have that M Sport package here today, which is why you were looking at a much more chiseled front end than would otherwise be if you did not have it. But so anyways, I did want to mention another option, LED headlights with cornering lights. They are available for an additional $950. If you wanted to go that route, LED headlights with fog lights come with the premium package actually as well, and they'll be the cornering lights as well. But definitely a very menacing, intense look in the front, at least with that M Sport package. I absolutely love it. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the X1. So typically satin aluminum roof rails will come stand standard on this one, satin aluminum window surrounds to go along with that. However, if you were to go with the M Sport package that we have today, simply change those satin aluminum finishes to a gloss black finish. That is of course what you're looking at right now. Rear privacy glass comes standard across the board. When it comes to those side mirrors, let me show you guys here. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors come standard. They will come with memory settings, of course. Integrated turn signals also coming standard and they are heated as well. Hey, take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch bi-color alloy wheels with all season run flat tires will be the standard configuration. 18 inch double five spoke alloys are gonna come with the M Sport package. That's what you're looking at right now. And of course there are 19 inch wheel designs available if you wanted to go that route as well. Taking a look down at the side skirts now, this is a big one for me at least. Satin aluminum trim on the side skirts comes standard. However, if you were to go with the M Sport package again, they will now be body colored and that looks so much better in my personal opinion. Not that the other way doesn't look good because it does, but it looks better with body colored side skirts and really any SUV in my personal opinion. But now, that covers the side. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back. First thing I always like to mention, there is a shark fin antenna up top there in case you haven't noticed. Rear spoiler with an integrated brake light comes standard. Rear window wiper just below that. Let me just skip down to the very best part about the X1 here. Relatively large dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So I think you guys all know what is coming next. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
It's open now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear lift gate. It is a power lift gate that comes standard on the X1. That's definitely a good thing. There is actually a hands-free lift gate as well that's gonna come with a premium package if you wanted to go that route if you wanted it. But nonetheless, once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 27.1 cubic feet behind that second row. With the rear seats down, that is gonna come in at 58.7 cubic feet, which is quite honestly very impressive for the size of this thing. For comparison's sake, keep comparing it to the GLA 2 50 from Mercedes because they're kind of similar but the GLA actually comes in at 43.6 cubic feet so substantially more in the X1 when you compare it to that one so that is definitely impressive 12 volt power outlet back there cargo lighting there's in floor storage so definitely a very nice cargo area essentially in the X1 but making our way to the rear legroom that comes in at 37 inches even for reference I'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I have back there there's the rear passengers of course will find rear ventilation back there there's a rear center armrest with cup holders as well and there's actually a sliding and reclining rear seat for an additional $300 if you wanted to go that route as well but so then making our way to the front seats eight-way power adjustable front seats coming standard there's actually a Sensatec upholstery that comes standard on the x1 however if you wanted a full leather configuration you can get it as an additional $1,450 and there's a ton of different options as far as color choices go for that leather as well heated front seats go for $550 that comes with the heated steering wheel wheel too. Speaking of, let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped, very nice 10 and 2 grips in typical BMW fashion. They always do it right when it comes to those 10 and 2 grips. So they're just a little bit thicker than a lot of other manufacturers. It's about all other manufacturers, quite honestly. So that's a good thing. Better feeling of being in control there. When it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your lock, unlock button to pop the rear hatch. That lock button, that is going to be the BMW logo in the middle there, in case anybody was curious. It is all key Keyless entry though, of course, so all you need to do is simply leave the key in your pocket, walk up to the X1, put your foot on the brake. There is an engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. So I'm just going to simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. Let's open that once started up. Speedometer is on your left, tachometer is on your right. There's a very small little bit of information at the bottom there as well, including your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, time of the day, trip A, trip A, just your basic stuff. So, and I did what I also mentioned, it's going to display your drive driving modes up there as well in those gauges. Also going to adjust what's in the tachometer ever so slightly when you do that then as well. But so then making our way to overall interior quality, best thing about this, the panoramic moonroof coming standard with the M Sport. It's also gonna come with the convenience package for $2,550, but again, standard with the M Sport that we have here today. Anthracite headliner comes standard universal garage door opener coming with the convenience package That's going to be for up to three different garage doors located on the rear view mirror there Ambient lighting coming with the premium package as well. We do have that today So I pulled in a darker area so I could show that to you guys it's absolutely amazing. There's tons of different color choices you can check out as well. So that's definitely one of my favorite parts about this too. Dual zone climate control coming standard wireless phone charger that goes for $500 if you wanted to go that route. Of course, you have a ton of hookups. There's a USB charging port, 12 volt power outlet, a little bit of storage area just in front of the cup holders, which are in front of the shifter. Just behind that, you have an electromechanical parking brake. There's some more storage within the center armrest, actually. It's kind of like a two part armrest. There's two layers to it, and there's actually a phone charger with some more storage underneath there as well. Authentic wood trim also included with the X1 and overall BMW always gets it right when it comes to interior quality and this is no exception. You got stitched leather just above the passenger side glove box. Again wood trim, ambient lighting, everything's just perfectly on point in the X1. Now let's take a look though at the tech display. 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display and this is a new feature for the 2020 BMW X1, or I should say a new feature that comes standard for the X1. So that is definitely a big plus there. Used to be a smaller display. Of course, it is a touchscreen, like I said, but there's also a circular dial and buttons located just behind the shifter. That is yet another way you control what is on that display. And there is voice control actually as well. Bluetooth and audio streaming come standard up there. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation, climate control settings. And like I said, you can also adjust your ambient lighting up there. There's different colors like orange, bronze, white, green, blue, lilac. You can adjust the brightness and the dimness as well. So overall, very nice ambient lighting display here in the X1, but also as expected, you can adjust your radio settings, which brings me to the sound system we always have to test out. 
Standard sound system on the X1 is seven speakers and 205 watts. However, there is an optional sound system actually that we have today being the 12 speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system. That one goes for $875 if you were interested. That also comes with 360 watts. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next, of course. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Did not realize the X1 came with massaging seats. That bass is ridiculous with the Harman Kardon sound system. Plenty of clarity, really. That sound system is 100% on point. You will not be disappointed with that Harman Kardon sound system in the X1. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the X1 in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so when it comes to safety, front side, side curtain airbags coming standard, but also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, tire pressure monitoring system coming standard, but also there's a good bit of advanced safety that comes completely standard with the X1 as well, including daytime pedestrian pedestrian detection, frontal collision warning, city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, automatic high beams, adaptive cruise control, and there's also a parking assistant feature for $200 where the X1 is essentially going to parallel park itself. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the X1, decent acceleration, plenty of power there, although there is a slight turbo lag, fun handling, extremely fun car when it comes to the steering feel, especially in that sport mode. And with it being a smaller SUV, that really makes it even more enjoyable to carve through the back roads in this one. Excellent rear legroom and cargo space for its class, another huge plus for the X1. Very good starting price point as well. Of course, you have the free complimentary maintenance with BMW for three years as well, so that's also a big plus. I guess the only negative besides that slight turbo lag is the below average for liability from consumer reports but other than that this is a very fun small suv being the bmw x1 and a very nice price point for this one as well so definitely one you should go out and test drive and try to get on the back roads because the handling is absolutely wonderful in this thing but overall that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate Appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.